Assalamu alaikum and what's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. All right, so today we're gonna be reviewing another product and we're gonna show you what that product is right after this. All right, here we are. So today we got the CineEye 2 Pro. This is a wireless video transmission system. It's supposed to be pretty cool for one main reason. Before I tell you what that reason is, let's unbox it real quick. All right, opening up the box. Okay, obviously you got the manual. First impression. So when you're looking at a unit just like this, first impression is, wow, this is metal. So this is actually plastic and metal, metal framing. So it's pretty cool. Looks very durable, all right? This is the transmitter over here. The transmitter has a USB-C port on the side. You have the switcher knob on the right. And then you have power switch on the left. HDMI out, HDMI in. This is a dual band, but we'll talk about the features in a little bit. All right, and then in the front, you have menu arrows with the menu button right in the center. And yeah, this is the transmitter, okay? So you got a quarter 20 mount on the bottom, quarter 20 mount with two knobs for attachment, those special magic arm attachments that have those two little nibs or knobs that go right in uh, with a quarter 20 attachment to it. So that works out good. Four antenna mounts on the top. We'll check to see, obviously there's four antennas for each, but uh, looks like you got four antenna mounts on the top and a Sony L mount battery. It's very common. We have tons of them with us here in the production in the production office, so that works out nice. That's the transmitter. All right, so now looking at the receiver, same exact thing, USB-C on the side, turn knob, menu buttons, and there is only an HDMI out. There's one HDMI port because this is a receiver, that's all you need on it. So, and a power button, of course, on the side. And there is also a DC in, so you can do straight power. Do we have that here? No. Yeah, we did. Oh, we missed that. So also there's a straight power without a battery. You can bypass the battery on the transmitter and of course on the receiver. So you can go power right directly in with an L mount battery and a quarter, quarter 20 mount at the bottom. All right, so that's what we got here now. See what else is in the box. All right, just as we suspected, we got antennas. All right, so antennas seem pretty durable, just like regular, every regular antenna. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they give you one extra antenna. So you got eight antennas, four for each, and one extra. It's good to have because they might break or one might break, right? Let's see what else we got here on the bottom. We got your shoe mount adapters. So you got a cold shoe mount, all right? Let me get this open. All right, we got a cold shoe mount and we got four rings that go along with it, all right? So we got the shoe mount, four rings, one, two, that works out good, and, ah, now here, there we go. Now it makes more sense. Yeah, I was wondering, why would, why would it have one shoe mount? It's actually two shoe mounts, right? So two cold shoe mounts, good to go. Now you can mount them directly on the camera or wherever you want to mount it. All right, so in the beginning, I told you guys there's something really, really cool about this unit. So usually when you see a unit that's very compact or small, you don't expect it to do 1,200 feet or 350 meters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. 1,200 feet or 350 meters. That's pretty impressive for a small unit like this. That's pretty cool because normally it's about 300 feet for smaller units and that's, that's what you would need. But this has very large antennas. In fact, I'm mounting them on now just to see how it looks fully loaded. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's, uh, it looks pretty impressive. Now, it's not an unboxing and a test without actually testing it out in the field. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go test it out in the field, see what kind of transmission we get with it, 
see how far we can push it, see where it cuts off, and then come back and talk to you guys about the specs. All right, so see you in a bit. So, Axum Cinei 2 Pro's new transmit transmitter system. The way it works is pretty cool because it has a 2.4 gigahertz plus 5.8 gigahertz built in and it has an intelligent system that allows it to switch for whichever one is working best. For those of you guys that don't know, 2.4 is longer but slower, 5.8 is shorter but faster. All right, so this unit, runs low latency so there is there's no delay there's not much delay on this so compared to other units in this class it actually performs very very well and of course one of the biggest things about one of the biggest and most important things about it is the distance 1200 feet 350 meters it's pretty far and while testing it on set we managed to get just that we had some obstacles in front of us for the most part it worked fairly well Another cool thing about it is one transmitter. So we got one transmitter, multiple receivers. Works out pretty well. So you can go up to four devices. So what that means is you have one transmitter. You can send a signal to a receiver, which obviously goes then to a monitor. You can go to an iPad, you can go to an iPhone, you can go to another device. So you can have up to four devices, which is pretty impressive off of just one setup. Syncing audio is really important, so I'm gonna read the specs for you right off the sheet over here. It supports 44.1 kilohertz and 48 kilohertz, 16-bit to 24-bit audio input. And it streams the audio with low compression codec, giving you a near lossless experience when it comes to audio syncing. Now it also supports up to 20 channels, which is really good. If you have some kind of interference, you can switch to a different channel and make sure you're back on track, just in case you do lose a signal. So it, it supports up to 20 channels, but what's cool about it is it'll automatically select the cleanest channel to stream. That's pretty cool, you know? So having a system like this that could actually scan and find the right channel for you is always really important. You already have a hard enough time setting everything up and making sure that everything's ready and nice and working on set. The last thing you wanna do is be able, is wanna go through channel by channel, making sure that everything's working out right. All right, so with other devices, you have to pair them. With Axoon's transmission unit, you don't have to do it. Just switch the knob and that's it. You just go channel to channel and they're paired together. So you pair the first one with the second one and you're good to go. So that's what the knob here is for actually. So you can, you can pair the transmitter and the receiver any way you see fit. Just change channels, that's it. Change the knob, switch the knob over. So a low power draw on this is really important. So a single NPF 970 battery can run for up to 20 hours. That's two shoots. So if you're shooting today and you're shooting tomorrow and you forgot to charge, you shouldn't, but in case you forgot your NPF batteries, you can run for two days on this. That's pretty impressive. 20 hours, uh, that's pretty good. So another cool thing about this unit, there is no fan inside, which is really good because fans usually give you a hard time uh, on set. So depending on your audio system, if you're using boom mics, uh, if you're using a boom pole, you might be okay, but you still might have some background noise. But if you're using shotgun mics right above the camera, you're gonna definitely have a problem because that noise is gonna come right in. But with these units, there's no fan built in and you're still able to maintain, so that's pretty good. And because there's no fan, there's less draw on the power. That's another reason why they're able to last up to 20 hours on that one battery, NPF 970. Let's talk a little bit more about the batteries. So let's say you wanted to hot swap the batteries. Because it has a DC input, you can run the battery directly in, temporarily, if you, if, just in case you need to go from one spot to the other, run the power in, swap the batteries, do a hot swap. Swap the batteries, back in business, unplug it, go back to what you were doing. That's really good to have. It's really, really important on set because sometimes you can't stop or turn things off. You just need to keep going. So that's really important. Even though it gives you 20 hours, so you might not end up doing that, but it's good to know that you can. 
Another cool thing that it has is an application built into your phone that you can control the entire system from. So let's talk about the application a little bit. Here, if you look at your screen right now, you'll see that it has a grayscale icon, monocolor, histogram, waveform, anamorphic, audio meter, focus assist, LUT and CDL, zebra, false color, safe guide, and grid guide you pretty much have everything that you would need to control on a monitor right from your phone. Really handy and easy to use. All right guys, bottom line, that's gonna do it. Bottom line, this is a great unit. The Axun unit is a really nice unit. One of the main reasons it's nice is because of what it can do for the price it can do it for. So uh, affordable unit, and you can take it on a professional set, gets the job done, transmits, you got all the bells, whistles, and every feature that comes with a system built just like this. All right, highly recommend it. If you want, I'm gonna put, if you go down to the description section down below, you'll see all the specs on it, and if you want more information about it, I'll leave some links down there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like my review on it, please give me a like and a comment, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.